Hey guys, Super Cool Dave here. I'm playing the Human Resource Machine. This is year 40, and I'll be showing you how to get both the size and the speed challenges completed. In this one, the challenges are use 28 or fewer commands and complete in 399 or fewer steps. What's required in this level is we're going to grab a number from the inbox. We're going to see how many prime factors fits into it, and we're going to outbox all the prime factors. So a 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 times 2 is 16, so 4 twos. A 9 is 3 times 3, and a 4 is 2 times 2. So we should have 4 twos, 2 threes, and 2 twos in the outbox. To make things easier, we're going to mark things up to make it a bit neater. So the 0 here, we're just going to keep it as a 0. In the cell above it, what we're actually going to do is use this it needs to be a one and we're going to use this to see if we've hit the end of the run yet so if we are divisible only once one uh we're going to subtract the one from the one and if it's a zero that's how we know we're going to be finished in this one here what we're going to do is keep track of what current number we're working on in this one here we want to see how many times the prime fit into our current number and in this one here, it's going to be where our primes are. So now we've marked it all out, we can start working on the formula. What we're going to do is straight off the mark, we're going to copy this zero. We're going to write it down here and we need to bump it into a one. Once we've done that, we can go to our inbox, grab the 16 and we're going to write it down as our current number. Now, we can copy our end of run number. We're going to write it down here where our prime number is going to be. And we're going to bump it to a 2 because it should already be a 1. Now we've done that, we can start seeing if the prime numbers fit into whatever number we're carrying. We're going to grab our number and we're going to subtract the prime number from it. We want to do that over and over again until we either hit zero or into a negative. If the number is a negative, it means the prime number is not divisible by what's in this cell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump the prime number up to the next number, so a two to a three, and then see if the three fits in there. Now, the split second we get it right, so if we can subtract it and it's a zero, we know we are good to go. We're gonna grab our prime number and we're just going to chuck it straight into the outbox. We're then going to count how many times our prime number actually fit into the number. So we're going to grab this zero and we're going to write it down just up here. We now need to copy our number. We are going to subtract the prime from it. We are then going to write down our new number, which is the number minus the prime and we are going to bump this up to say that we actually found a prime. We need to do this over and over again, this loop of four commands, until no more primes are available to take out of the number. So the split second, we subtract it. So we take a, the prime from the number, so this has eventually been bumped all the way down in this case to a two. Two take two is zero. So if it's zero, we need to bump plus this one just one more time we then are going to write down this number is our new number that we're going to be working on we can then need to see if we finished doing the loop um, in the first case the 16 as this will be uh, 8 uh, it won't be a finish because we're going to be carrying the 8 and we're going to subtract one from it so because it's an 8 we know we need to do it again and then it will be a 4 and do it again it will be a 2 2 take 2 will only fit one time so we know uh, it's 1 so there was would be no more outputs so 1 minus 1 would be a 0 so if we ever end up with a 0 we know we're completely finished and we're going to outbox it you'll see a bit more clearly once the code is actually running However, if it's anything other than a 0, so the 16 would actually be an 8, we need to recheck the prime number again. So we're going to jump all the way back up, 
So this is where we're going to copy our current number, subtract the prime number and do the entire loop again. That's the entire code that you need. So I'm just going to hit play. So we can see we're going to grab the 0, we're going to paste it here, turn it into a 1. We're going to grab the 16, we're going to write it down because that's our current number. Grab the 1 and we're going to bump this up to a 2. Now we want to see if uh, 16 is divisible by 2. So I'm going to speed this up just a smidge. And we're going to clearly see that it is. So we know we can chuck a 2 in. We want to see how many times the 2 fits into 16. So this is what we're working on now. So I'm going to speed this up a bit. It's 4 times. 5 times. 6 times. 7 times. And I'm going to slow it down. So now we can see 8 times. So we're going to write down the 8 here as our new number. 8 isn't the end of the run. This is what we just checked. So we know we want to see if 2 now fits into 8. It that certainly does. So we're going to outbox the 2. And now we want to see how many times the, foo, uh, the 2 fit into the 8. Which should give us a 4. I'm going to speed this up a bit. So 2, 3, and the last set is a 4. I'm going to write the 4 down. Is the 4 the end of the run? It is not. So now we want to see how many times the 2 fits into the 4, which is uh, see if the 2 fits into the 4. It did, so it's going to output another 2. Now how many times does the 2 fit into a 4? That's what we're about to find out. It fit in twice. So we're going to write down the 2. It is not the end of the run, so we're going to keep going. Now 2 fit into 2 once. We're going to chuck the 2 in because we're good to go. So now we need to work out that it was only once. We're going to write down the 1. 1 minus 1 is a 0. We, we are finished. There is no more ways of dividing the number down. We are now into the next number, which is a 9, which is 3 times 3. So you should see the 2 is going to fail. And negative. Bump it up to a 3. And now we're going to see if the 3 fits in. And we can clearly see it does. So we're going to outbox the 3. We're going to uh, now keep track of how many times the 3 actually did fit in. So 1, speed up a smidge, 2, and 3. We're going to move this down. We're going to see if we're at the end of the run. We are not, so we need to try this again. So the 3 fit in again, so we're going to output another 3. So now, how many times is 3 and 3? 3 minus 3 is only once. 1 minus 1 is 0, so we know we're finished. And now it's just the 4, so I'm just going to speed this up. So it's quite simple. 4 it will be just 2 and 2. So 2 fit into two, uh, the 4 twice, so that's worked out. And now 2 will fit into 2 one more time, so we know we needed the second 2. And we're at the end of the run, because no more 2s will fit. Here's the clipboard. So we can see for the 28 or fewer commands, we use exactly 28 out of 28. And that's for the speed challenge. We did it in 365 out of 399. Uh, I hope you found this walkthrough helpful, and thank you for watching.